Hello, beautiful souls. Happy Saturday or whenever you're watching this. I'm just gonna fix my hair. It's beautiful and sunny here today. Um, I've been doing a lot of meditative practice today and I just wanted to share a message just about the divine will and aligning with it. And I speak a lot about that because it's so important to align with that will, the will of our soul, the will of our higher self, our super conscious, conscious the universe to align that because we can walk through life so much so often we walk through life just being led by our ego being led by our fear being led by our belief system and when we can disconnect from all of that and truly be led by our intuition by our soul by our higher self by the universe just flow through life it's such a beautiful thing. And I'm not saying it's gonna happen every moment in your life. You are human, we're all human, we all have hiccups on the road. But instead of forcing and manipulating things the next time, surrender. Surrender to what is going on around you and ask for the guidance in that moment. Because that is the only moment that matters. And your reaction in that moment is the only moment that matters. So the next time something really difficult or something that seems like a challenge is happening in your life, instead of reacting to somebody else, instead of being emotional about something, you know, sit back within yourself, pull into your heart center, ground, breathe, and ask for the guidance. Quiet your system, quiet your nervous system. Take a step back and ask for the guidance. And you know what? I bet you 100% you'll hear a little whisper and trust that whisper. Trust that whisper. Trust that in the now. It is so important, you know, when we are emotionally triggered, when we're going through things, when we're feeling like we're forcing, you know, when we're forcing our ego, our will on something else or somebody else, that's when we need to sit back and if it's not flowing, and ask if this is the higher will or if this is our ego will our own you know our own third dimensional will forcing us down that path everything that is meant to you will come to you you are on your path and the amount of ease that is in your path is directly proportional to how much you can trust and surrender the process if you want to fight everything if you want to battle within your own mind and fear what's going on around you, you're going to find more things to fear and battle from. If you're going to bring yourself into a space of surrender, if you're going to bring yourself into a space of just centering in your heart, and it's so difficult sometimes, and I'm not saying it's like, oh my gosh, it's so easy. It is difficult, even for me at times, you know, when I feel like things aren't going according to my plan. You know, we all have those moments where we have these plans in our heads and then all of a sudden we're like detoured and you're like, what is going on? And this is where I'm saying you need to center in and you need to take a time out if, you, if that helps. Bring yourself back from your emotional meltdown. Bring yourself out of that trigger and allow life to unfold for you, not by you. The how is not up to us ever. This is when we align our will with the divine will, with God's will, with the universe's will, with our higher self's will. It is a surprise. A lot of the time we can plan, plan, plan our little hearts out and hope that all these plans and these intentions we set are exactly how we set them, but it's never going to be that way. Look back on your life. How often had you made plans? And yeah, a lot of the time they work out, but how often have you made plans and they've like worked out in the weirdest ways? Like at the time it seemed like a huge disaster, but you look back on it and you're like, wow, that actually really worked out. That was such a gift because of what happened. I learned this or I met this person or I had this beautiful experience come into my life that may not have felt beautiful at the time. But that is the key. That is the art of surrendering and trusting. And I know it sounds cliche. And when you're in that emotional state, it is sometimes, it is the most difficult thing to do. Because when we're in that state, it's like, oh my gosh, I need to, I need to make sure I'm safe because we get in this place where we feel unsafe when we don't have control around our, our surroundings and our existence. But this is where the universe, and I'm not going to say the universe, God source tests us, but these are those moments where it's like you're at that point to either step up and level up or you're going to step down and continue in that same hamster wheel because you're creating more drama in your life. You're creating more friction with your energy. So surrender the next time you feel that. Sit, meditate, go for a walk, journal, 
play music, do art, ask your higher self, channel, channel the answer through you. And if you do react in a way that you feel is not right in that moment, forgive yourself. And you have the choice, like I said, every moment to do this. So forgive yourself and move forward because every step of our journey, every second right now is different from when I started this video and three minutes down the road is going to be separate. It's those choices you make in that moment and none of them are wrong. Don't ever think your choices are wrong. They've just taken you down the path you need to go down. You know, that's the key is to know that you're on the path you're supposed to be on, but choose the path of least resistance and choose that path of surrender. And I'm not saying you don't need to do your work. You don't, you know, you still need to do your work and you need to take care of yourself and you need to make your plans. But when things aren't going according to those plans, like exactly what you have written down, it's okay. You're being taken on a detour for a reason. Go with it. Flow with it. It's like being on a river. You don't know where you're going, what current you're going in. You know, Wu Wei. If you don't know what Wu Wei is, look it up. It's the art of effortless effort. effort. It's the Tao Te Ching. It is one of the most amazing things you can learn about in this life. And that's just what I wanted to share. It's a pretty powerful message in short form. Um, tomorrow, Sunday, 1010, the 1010 portal. I am I have a gifted uh, event tomorrow. It's a grounding event. So we're going to go over ways to ground in our energy. And I'm going to channel a meditation for the collective, for our group, over Zoom. And there may be some messages that come through. There's always a collective message that comes through. And then at the end, if there's time, they'll be open for questions. So if you're interested in joining that... The event is up in the events tab at the top of the community. Um, and if you need me to forward you the event invite, let me know. You just have to register so you get your Zoom link. But there's no fee involved in this one. I, I like to serve this way just like with my messages. It's like our life, the more we serve, the more we can spread light. The more I can serve and teach somebody, the more they can serve and teach somebody else. It's all a ripple effect. It's all beauty. And it's so important to do this and balance it and balance it with boundaries, right? We can't over serve and deplete ourselves. We have to be able to fill ourselves so we can serve. And then starting on the 17th of October is the 555 portal shift in consciousness, living an empowered life. It is an eight week course. It's beautiful. It's, it's, it's going to shift. It shifts consciousness. It's how we dig through our limiting beliefs. It's trauma healing. It's learning how to work through our triggers. It's learning how to tap into our intuition and really listen to it after clearing our nervous system. And at the end of this eight week process, you will be able and empowered to work through your own triggers to tune into your own super conscious mind, your own higher self to hear things and understand what's your energy versus other people. It's, it is really what I've learned in my, in my journey, you know, from being, you know, dead in a hospital pretty much to living an empowered life because I got out of my victim mentality. So it's a beautiful course. I'm so excited to offer it. It's been months in the works. I kept putting it off because of my fear of putting myself out there. You know, when you actually have a course to offer, it's a whole different story. So spirit was like, you need to just do this. Just bite the bullet. It's written it's going to be beautiful it's very channeled it's very intuitively led and it's just to spread more light so if you're interested in that that starts on october 17th and it's every sunday for an hour for eight weeks i will be recording the uh the classes so if you can't make one it'll be recorded so you can i can send it to you after but i would love to have you there if you're looking to make a shift in your life and understand what a living a higher conscious life is this is the class for you and it's going to be beautiful and that's all I have to say about that, you know, toot my own horn there. But no, it's, it's just about what it is. You know, my daughter was funny. She's 13 and she was like, mom, you need to teach this. It's time. And I love her. She always has like these intuitive messages for me. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, it's time. It's time to put this out there. There's one thing, like I said, it's one thing to put myself out there in a community where it's where it's who comes to me, but it's, it's another thing to have people's lives in your hand. You're teaching them, but I'm ready. And if you're ready, come join me. It's going to be amazing and healing and beautiful building community and energy. And, you know, you'll be able to teach other people through this. I'm going to pull a quick card for guidance today. So we're going to ask spirit what's in our highest best good. And it's finding my true identity. And I love this card because it is, it's about aligning with your soul purpose and knowing that you don't have to search for it. It will come to you when you open it up to receive. And this is another part of the class I'm teaching. It's like, 
we have to be open to the messages that are coming to us. We ignore them our whole lives. You know, a lot of the time we aren't open to receiving from other people, let alone spirit. So we got to clear ourselves and be okay with the messages. So this says life has a perfect way to bring about events. Everything is put in place harmoniously. Every stage of my life, be it easy or difficult is necessary to the revelation of my true identity and encourages me to find this wonderful being that I am. And that's exactly what I was saying before where, you know, every choice we make in this moment is taking us down the path that we need to be down. We may need to learn a lesson again. Unfortunately, sometimes like me, I had to learn many hard lessons, the same type of lesson over and over again, because I needed to really learn the hard way. And that was my life. So now I can share and you know, teach through my, through what I've been through. And that is sometimes the best, that is generally the best knowledge you can have is through, through source and through our own understanding of things. Anyway, I'm going to go. I love you. Have a beautiful day. 